devices for measuring direction and velocity of the wind. So B for installing or setting up any project which is related to the wind. First of all, it is necessary to know the wind direction and the speed of the winds of that particular place during or throughout the different season. So wind wave is used to measure the direction of wind while the anemometer is used to measure the velocity or the speed of the wind. So first let me see wind wave. So in this wind wave we can, uh, we can find out or we can know the direction of wind by using this wind wave. So the primary type of wind wave when wind wave only shows the direction of wind at that particular time when it is needed. That means it does not indicate or say that what the direction of wind was a short time ago. That means we can know the direction of wind at particular instant only. Now as shown in this figure, here you can see as shown in this figure, it has one horizontal arm. Horizontal arm that can rotate freely in the horizontal direction at the end of small stick. So here you can see stick, this horizontal arm is fitted on the axis of the uh, axis of this stick, which is rotated in horizontal direction. So now for the true movement of this horizontal arm, uh, bearings are used. So this horizontal arm can move easily. Now at the end of this one end of horizontal arm, one flat pointer is fitted. And another end of this horizontal arm, one vertical plate is mounted. So the the direction of this wind wave, it depends on the direction of wind. It is most important. Now, to know the direction, uh, to know the direction of wind, one N S E W letters are ungrouped, which are uh, fitted on the arm. So, at the end arm, here you can see N S W E group letters are fitted on the south, which shows the direction of north, south, east and west respectively. So now this is, these letters are uh, fitted, fixed on the stick. So now when the stick is required to fit it or the fix, so first of all know the direction, uh, know the direction north, south, east, west. So for that we are using magnetic compass. So with the help of this magnetic compass, uh, we can find out the north, east, west and south direction. And after that this peak is fitted. Now uh, arrow, the position of this arrow is uh, indicates the direction of wind. Suppose if the arrows in S in S uh, direction, that means the pawn flows from south direction. Next, uh, in electric type wind wave, rotary type potentiometer is used. So potentiometer is connected to the arm of the wind wave, the axis of the uh, wind wave. So if there is a uh, change in, there is a change in wind, it will change the position of this wind wave. So this wind wave is able to move in horizontal direction. So due to this change in the uh, when when it will change in the output voltage of the potentiometer. Now whatever voltage uh, available across this potentiometer it is applied to the voltmeter. Now the dial of this voltmeter 
it is calibrated into 0 to 360 degree. Now, using such type of arrangement, we can uh, know the direction of wind in the room. There is no need to go to side to find out the direction of wind. So, that is most important. So, whatever voltage available across this potentiometer, it is applied to the voltage recorder or data logger. Now, in second case, a one disk is mounted on the axis of photoelectric or autoelectric wind wave, which uh, program into gray code. So, we will get the signal according to VN position. Now, next NMO meter. So, already I told you NMO meter is used to measure and to measure the velocity or the speed of the wind. So, the surface wind is the wind that flows up to a height of 100 meters from the surface of the earth. So, whatever that means, so whatever wind is available at the height of 100 meters from the surface of the earth is called surface wind. So, velocity of wind is measured and recorded by the anemometer. So, there are many types of anemometers are used. But the most of the rotating cup type design is used, which rotates, the cups is rotates in the, in proportional to the wind linear motion. So, the type of anemometer is depends on the measurement of the speed of the rocket. Now, next the arrangement of rotating curve. So, now as shown in this figure, uh, here we, we can say vertical pole. So, on this vertical pole, uh, two or three or four cross arms are connected on the top of this vertical pole with the help of the bearing. So, already I told you bearing is used to free movement of the cross arms. Now, at the curves, as shown in this figure, the curves are fitted at the each and every end of this cross arm. So, these curves are moves in horizontal direction in the, uh, the force applied on this curve. So, the speed, uh, the wind speed whatever the arm, the speed of this arm is directly proportional to the speed of the wind. Now, uh, the different types of uh, arrangement or the measurement, to, uh, different types of uh, measurement as well as uh, whatever the speeds uh, require to rotate the uh, curve, there are different types of uh, anemometers are used. So, first electric anemometer. So, in this type of elect uh, in this type of uh, anemometer, the armature of permanent magnet type DC generator is connected at the uh, rotating, uh, at the shaft of rotating curve. So, whatever EMF induced in the armature winding of DC generator, it depends on the shaft speed and the velocity of the speed. So, whatever voltage induced in the armature of DC generator, it is applied to the voltmeter and its uh, dial is calibrated in meter per second. So, whatever signals come out from this armature, it is applied to the rec signal recorder or the data logger. In second, photoelectric or digital anemometer. So, here one slotted disk is mounted on this shaft. So, one light source is placed at the one side of disk and another side, another side, one, li uh, one uh, light sensor are there. So, when disk is rotated, it's uh, destroyed or it is resist by the light beam. So, 
we will get the output in forms uh, in forms of pulse. That means the output of sensor is pulse time, and this pulse is count count by the digital counter, and this pulse counted pulse is applied to the display. So display is calibrated in terms of meter per second. That means display shows the wind velocity in meter per second. Next propeller wind mill NMO meter. So this forms a horizontal rotating nacelles. Uh, nacelles here uh, at which is placed at the top of the vertical pole. So it is housed in a three winch propeller at this work end one, and one uh, flat wing is placed on the other end, and it is arranged in the direction of V. So the measurement of this uh, wind speed already we have seen. So an additional anemometers are used. First is pressure tube anemometer, second. Hot wire anemometer and third gust anemometer. 